Hi, it's Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today we're going to do our little pilgrim male figure. And as I mentioned in the previous video, which was for the little pilgrim female figure, you are going to have to make a head and the arms yourself, okay? Now for the arms, you need a magic ring of eight in white, two rounds of white, and then six rounds of black. And uh, do that twice so that you've got the arms and have them sitting on a... Uh, stitch holder or, or paper clip, bobby pin, whatever you happen to be using as your stitch marker. Um, the head, we're doing the hair in brown. You can choose whatever color hair you want. I'm doing brown because we've got a black hat. Um, and then I'm using nine millimeter toy safety eyes. So you're going to put, put those in as well. Now, before you, uh, with, with your head, you're going to finish before the last round. Okay, so when you have your head here, okay, you've done your last decrease for the head, your next round is going to be going through in the post, like this, okay? And what we're going to do is make sure that we finish off that. We're not going to do a single crochet, single crochet increase. We're just going to stop after we've been around the post and we have our 12 stitches, okay? So going through, we will go through and we do a slip stitch, go through the post, like so. Move your stitch marker, stitch number one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and this is our last stitch which is 12 we're going to, have to be careful here there we go 12 now you are not as I said going to do that final round for the neck okay you're going to finish on this front post in skin tone and then instead of doing skin tone for the next round for the neck you're going to change to white, okay? Normally we would do it in skin tone, we're doing it in white. So that last round for the neck, which is a single crochet, single crochet increase, you're going to be doing single crochet, well first of all a slip stitch because you're changing color. Move your stitch mark. Single crochet. And an increase. Now you're doing this in white. Okay, because that is going to be the shirt. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. Oopsie. Make sure you got both stitches. Whoopsie. Single crochet. Single crochet and an increase. Single crochet single crochet and you finish on an increase so make sure that's white that last round because that is the shirt you have to remember the Puritans so they're very uh, chaste I guess is the word to use all right so we're going on to his body okay and for this little part of the body, 
we have single crochet we have six rounds in actual fact now the six rounds are four rounds for the shirt two rounds for the trousers well we're not kind of doing that because we're going to have three rounds and I'm using the bands I put one of each color of the round that I'm doing so we'll do four rounds for the shirt we're going to do a round for belt and then we're going to do another round for his pants okay so we're going to have black 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 brown black they are all going to be single crochet and you're starting with black and you're doing a slip stitch because you've got a color change all right so like that and we're going all the way around just with single crochet no increases no decreases just single crochet all the way around for six and so I'm doing one two three four five six with this one okay number two three four and number five is going to be a round of brown so you have to make sure you do your color changes I will meet you back when we have all done these okay so four rounds of black a round of brown and then one more round of black and we'll catch back up so I have done my six rounds I've done my four and five and six four in black five in brown six is in black it's probably a very good time for us to attach our arms which as you know they go in this area here of the uh, of the neck area and we're going to want to see if we can let's have a look here we've got one two three four I would say we'll pop our first band here they go it's hard to really describe where they are they're not going to be in line with the eyes you want them off from the eye a little bit otherwise it's too close so grab your first tie off band and or anchor band if you want to call it go through the first set of loops the second and here's our third pop that through we're going to do a flip body there we go we've got our three bands here I'm taking the first one off and I'm going to loop those other two pop the third one back on loop again I'm going to find an inside band and I will loop those together like so don't do it too hard because you might choose to move the arm around uh, if you don't like where you've positioned it you might like to move it so I'm putting mine here I'm going to do the same on this side I'm going to make sure so I'm probably the first loop is going to go about here I think so let's see if this looks right get those out of the way I kind of pinch these to make sure that they don't unravel grab the first one keep keep it on the hook okay one of the things you don't want to happen is to and I think I've got one let's see is that gonna be too yeah I think that's too close we'll try keep it on the hook you don't want it to slide off the hook two and here's three let's see how that looks I think that's about right flip top body again whoops I twisted my hook around so flip the body inside out one over the other for these first two add the third back on find an inside band and we will tie these together like so let's see if we like that Now I think that's a little bit too far. I think that's too far back. He looks like he's dabbing. All he needs to do is put his hand across and he's dabbing. I'm going to move it forward. Probably actually I'm going to push my way inside here. I'm going to go through that knobbly bit. I think that's going to look better. So I will untie this. And this is what, when I say to you, if you don't like where you've positioned it, move it. All right, so I have a knobbly bit here that I'm going to go through. I'm going to push my hook through, force my way 
into that space. Come on. One. I hope I'm not going straight through the same ones I was in before. Hopefully not, but we'll see. <laughs> one over the other. One over the other. Find a black band or any band really, any internal band. I'm just picking black because I'm tying off with black. There we go. Let's see if that looks a little better. Yes, I think it does. Okay, so I think that is more even. I've stopped him from dabbing. Okay, um, we're going to do uh, white for his collar. And as we learned with the uh, little girl one, we can actually use tie-off bands. I've got uh, white ones here, and you can see them. It looked a lot nicer when we did it with black bands. So I'm going to go through, and now we want three. So we're sharing that one, two, three. That's probably all right. I'm going to push down here, and I'm going to go almost where that first stitch is for the arm. And I'm going to go one and two, and then I'm going to the next spot, which is here. And I just want that little, like the post almost. Come on, play nice. There we go. One, oh. This little spot does not want me having it. There we go. One and two. And then in this last space here. One and two. Grab a black band. And we're going to angle it so that it's just slightly to the side so it's just slightly to the side that's how I'm going to do that let's see if I can do the other side as well if you remember I said I was just on that first stitch where the arm was one and two and then I went into this one one and Two. Now I split this middle band in half, so there's the other side of it here. One and two, and then with a black band, join all of those together, one over the other, pull tight. Okay, and again. Just angle it off to the side a little bit. I think that's a bit. Let's push it here. Let's see how we look. And this one is here. I'm going to combine them up. I think that's at about the right level. All right, so then flip top body again. Turn the body inside out. Here's our two bands here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through a band. And I'm going to tie these off. Let's see. Oh, I need to do it tighter. Look at that. That's way too loose. I had a feeling that would happen. All right, let's do that tighter. I'm rushing a little bit because my darling husband has taken my daughter to Altitude, which is one of those indoor trampolining parks. And he said, you've got an hour. Let's see if you can get this little tutorial done. Because we don't have much time before Thanksgiving, do we? Right, let's pull that 
through. Maybe I'll just tie it in a knot. That might... Uh, tighten a knot, that'll tighten it up. And as an extra precaution, I'll tie off the two ends. <laughs> is that tight enough? I think it is. There we go. So even when I stretch it out, it's still pointing one that way, one that way, which is kind of what I wanted. We're going to do the hair, the hat rather, in a minute. Uh, well, we can actually, we can work our way around because once we've got the base there, then we can do that even when it, when it's stuffed or not. So working out where you want this, you want to be able to see the eyes. So you sort of have at least one round. So you're going the second round from above. So I'm going sort of about here. I'm going to trace around to the back, all right? Because if I do it at the back, you can sort of hide things at the back. And all you're doing is in each stitch, you're just doing your single crochet, okay? And you're going around. I go through those two little vertical stitches. You can see I'm poking through the, the two little vertical stitches, like so. And we're going to go all the way around. And this gives us a base now, one of the things that you need to be careful of is that it's continuous round, so the spiral is going to be uh, going up at one stage and you want to keep it level so that your um, hat does not sit sort of tilted. So be aware that when, that, uh, when the spiral is going around, you might need to drop down a, st a stitch to stay um even I think that's going to be too low so work your way around and it's easier to do this when you have not got stuffing in <laughs> We've got a colour change here, but you want to try and stick to the right round that you're on. Come on, fumble fingers. See how we're just working our way around. No, do not unravel. <laughs> All right, so if we come across here, we're, we're doing okay. We want to stick to about here. Around we go, where we stop 
nobody knows. And we're nearly at the back. Come on, both little loops. Oh, no, not three loops. Two loops, please. Oopsie. Come on. Play nice. <laughs> there we go. Now, we're back to the first stitch. I'm going to go through that first stitch. All right. And I'm going to do a single crochet. And I'm going to put my stitch marker on. Because we're not ready to work on this just yet. Okay. We've got the rest of him to do. So I'm, I'm just going through. And that is the, the round of where we're going to be putting his hat. Okay. Now, at this stage, you can possibly uh, stuff if you want to. Um, but I'm going to basically be working here on this little dude, okay? And what we want to do now is work on his trousers. So we now want to do his legs. Now I feel that this is a little bit too far away from the back to just be able to do another round to capture it. Because, for me... That's all that's working into that first round, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch this together where I think it should be, okay? And those I think would be good. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is about right. So the stitch here and the stitch here, I'm gonna go through with a a single sting little single band two three pinch I'm gonna go back to here and where I wanted to go through put that back on my hook pull through capture and I've caught it here all right now the, the problem that we're going to have, all right, is that this is already in here and I want to continue going around, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it up just a little bit. I'm going to go in. I've still got this one on here, okay? I'm going to do a single crochet. And I'm going to take the band that is on here and loop it through like so. All right, and then I'm going to go in. Okay, like that. Now yours might not have done that. I don't know why mine in particular finished there. Normally it doesn't. I normally finish in the same spot and I just have to um, I just have to go around once like and add an extra band or two to the back I don't know why it did it this time maybe I've missed a stitch I don't know up through these center stitches like so And then we're back to the beginning here for our second round. And you can use your stitch marker if you want. Put a stitch marker on that. So this is the beginning of our second round.
yes I think that's part of my problem I've only got 11 stitches instead of 12 it doesn't matter as long as I make the other one equal we're good we're swapping into white slip stitch because you're changing color move your stitch marker And then we're swap, swapping to black. So again, slip stitch to change color. Move your stitch marker. And around we go again. And as I said, we've only got 11 stitches instead of 12 for this foot. It's really not going to matter terribly much because it's quite a forgiving little pattern. Just make sure that your other leg has the same. It would probably not be as forgiving if we were doing it in yarn. Now when we get to the end of this round we're going to swap to the other foot because, or the other leg, because we still haven't stuffed. There's my last stitch and I'm going to just attach that to the stitch marker that I have holding the first stitch. Alright, so there we go. Can't see any gaping holes so I think it's fine. Alright, at this point I'm, I am actually going to go through this hole because it's larger than this little hole and I'm going to stuff his head so that we at least have some stuffing in there. I'm using a different stuffing. This is the only one that Michael's had and it's a lot denser. Um, not so fibrous, which is kind of nice. But it's a, a different feel, definitely. Stuff all the way down to the head. And you'll notice that it's sort of a flat top head and, and that's fine. Don't stuff so much that you pull your stitches apart. You don't want that to happen. But you do want it stuffed so that it's in shape. So a round little head. <laughs> and then a little bit for his body. Again, not too much. This is a very odd stuffing, a very odd filling. <laughs> and a tiny bit for this one leg, because we've done this one leg. I'm hoping that this stuffing is going to work as nice. I guess we will see, won't we? It feels, it feels different. So that's the one leg, and then we'll do the other leg here. So, let's pick up from the back and the reason I do it from the back is because then the continuity of the stitches is kept. I'm going through the little stitch here 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's going to give me twelve stitches. So I'm going to go from here. And it is important that you try and make it so that the stitches are even. Otherwise, you'll have one one leg fatter than the other. Pop your stitch marker on so you know where the start is. And let's go around. You're wanting 11 stitches, so this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and here's eleven. So that was our first round. Now we have to go around again, back through that first stitch. Oops, it came unraveled a bit. Let's ravel it back up. <laughs> One. So this is round two. Move your stitch marker. Three. Four. Five. Eleven, we're switching to white through your first stitch. Do a slip stitch because we're color changing. Move your stitch marker. That's number one, two, three, four. This is 11. Then we're again switching back to black. In through your first stitch. Grab your black bands. Slip stitch. Move your stitch marker. single crochet in each And that's my last stitch. I'm popping that last stitch on my stitch marker. We need to have a tiny little bit of filling, stuffing, to go in here. 
Okay, so I'm going to grab a tiny insy bit. This is probably too much, but we will see. Oh, that probably works. There we go. Now, uh, we can do the gold belt, and we are using a gold pan for that, if I can find where I've put mine. Okay. I'm using these, um, I don't even know where I got them from, but they're a, uh, they're sort of a circular band, not squared. They're quite a nice band, actually. I'm going to take one and just twist it into a figure eight on my hook and I'm going to slide that onto my keyboard. Um, <laughs> I'm going to slide it onto one band, a black band, and I'm almost, it, it's as if I'm tying it off, okay? And then I'm going to go the other side and I'm going to do the same thing, one over the other, so that I have it like this. Now, you can see classic example there that I've done wrong. That side has the loop going this way over it and the other does not, so I need to change how I did that so that they are equal. And this is going to go right here in the center. Now I have to hold it because it's um I oiled up my bands the other night and they're still a bit greasy. So I'm poking my hook where I want this to be. As you can see, it's quite tricky because it is where we have a um, a change in the level of the uh, of the round. So I want it to sort of go in the middle here. I need to hold on to one side. This side on the right. I need to put the left side on the hook. Drag it through. And I didn't do a very good job of that. Let's try. Drag it through. And I want to hold on to this. Alright. Because this is how it's going to be. And I've caught stuffing on it. I hate when I do that. We want we want this to be tied in but equally. And right now it's not tied in equally. Okay. So I'm going to spread out and go a little bit further. And that's not going to make any difference. I just need to hold it so I don't let go. So I was going through two stitches. I'm going to go through here and all the way out to here. And pull back. And I want to tie off together like so. Move that into the middle. And that knot will go back inside that tie-off knot needs to be inside my character so that it's hidden all right so there we go it's tied off and the end of the the band that we use to tie off is inside our creation all right i do the little bands on the feet after the fact as well all right so now what we're going to do is working on the feet to get this stuffing out of the way because i hate it so badly undo that band you're going to work through the inside post all right so go through from the inside to the outside and then pop back and there's that little post and you're going to do a single crochet all right all the way around grab it and loop in you can put your stitch marker there just to indicate that that is our beginning. We're going all the way around doing an inside post stitch. So this changes the direction of our stitch so it makes it go more centered to the middle of the foot. now with daylight saving and it being so gloomy and dismal I've had to actually have a light on my desk um, 
to help show me and you uh, where we're working and on what band because it's just so gloomy. All the way around on this inside post till we get back to the beginning. See how we're nearly there? Oh, I do hate stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> it gets in everything. All right, once we're back at the inside post, what you're going to do is go through the top loop only of each of these bands, okay? So the top loop only, as if we were doing a decrease, and we kind of are, because instead of doing decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, we're going to collect all these top loops and we're going to loop them all on to a single band, the band that we just put through. All right, and then take your stitch marker off. You're going to put your stitch marker on one end of the band that we're looping these all onto, okay, like so. And keep going around collecting each of these top loops and then with the end of the band loop it through and hold until we get all the way back to the beginning. I've got another top loop here and loop it through. There's another top loop here, loop it through. So we're collecting all of these loops up like so and then if we connect the first one to the last one, it's almost like we've got a magic ring here. Keep it safe on your hook and take another band and tie off, like so. Take your stitch marker off. Spread this out just a little bit, okay? You shouldn't need to spread it out too much. Going from the inside or from the back up, you're going to grab the end of that tie-off band and pull it inside your work. And there is the end of your foot. It's nice and tidy. It's not puckered out or anything. It's almost like a little magic ring in there. That's what we're going to do on this side too. Okay, let's move that out the way. Grab that last band. We're working on that post. Push it through. You can do a slip stitch here so that it ends up not looking nice and even. Pop your stitch marker to mark where your first stitch is. Around we go, working in the front post. And this is what we're going to be looping through and collecting the top loop of these in a minute. But first of all, we have to do the stitch. So all the way around, just working in this front loop. And then we can say goodbye to all that stuffing. <laughs> I just hate the little bits of fibre that get on everything. Must be the OCD in me, I guess. And we're back to the beginning now. Do you remember? front loop okay you can take the, the uh, stitch marker off collect all the front loops that you possibly can get onto your hook in one time slide them all you're going to put your stitch marker on this end all right here just so that we don't lose that so connect that stitch marker together so that's one end and then we have to can can little collect the top loops and take that other end of that band and we're looping them through. We don't want to miss any. Oh, there's one there. Grab the 
end. Come on. Oh, it's being a bit fiddly. <laughs> there we are. Come on, you're coming through. There's the next one. And that's the last one. So pop it on your hook. Grab the first stitch, which is on your stitch marker. Get a band. Tie them together. Nice and tight under your stitch marker. Again, you're going to be... You can push this, the stuffing up a bit. Go through. Grab the end of your tie-off band. Pull it back in. It's, this stuffing is tricky actually, it's denser. I want to pull this out so that I have it hidden. There we go. Alright, so it's almost like a little magic ring in there. So here's our little dude. Now, we want to get two and two. We're going to take one wrap it once and twice and three times and we're going to slide that on all right to a gold band what we're going to do is go through two stitches here pull it through reconnect on the other side and with a black band we're going to tie those two gold ends together and that black band is going to we're going to slide it around all right Go through the centre of your foot here, grab that black band, and we're going to pull that back inside. All right, and then you can almost go up from here and grab it and pull it inside. All right, be careful, you don't want the stuffing coming out. You're going to do the same on the other side. Wrap it once, twice, and three times. Slide it onto a gold band. All right, and these are tricky, the gold bands like to slide off. That I can see stuffing coming from there. Stuff it back in. Going through two, pull it, reconnect, get a black band, tie those two together, and then this is going to get pushed back in, come through the hole where you where the black band is coming, where you want it to be pulled back into. Alright, and stuffing coming out oh it's this I don't know if I like this stuffing at all it's so thick but it I mean it looks and feels nice it's just a bit of a fiddly thing to work with I'm trying as I'm pulling this back to go up the side of my creation instead of just pushing up through the center of my stuffing I'm trying to s sort of sidestep the stuffing so there we go that's that all right now the hat the hat is the big thing and you're going to need quite a few black bands and white bands okay so for the brim of the hat what we're going to do pick up here where we finished off you're going to grab that first tie of band and, oh, we can leave that on. We're on stitch number one. Silly me. In each stitch, we're going to do two stitches. So it's an increase, all right? Every single stitch is an increase. So go back through that first stitch and do another one. And then in each stitch, you're doing two single crochets, okay? So that we're padding out the thickness of this hat. I will meet you back when we get back to the beginning and we have done two single crochets in each of these stitches. All right. I have made my way all the way around. I've done an increase in every stitch. Now the next round is two single crochets and an increase. So you're going to go through your first stitch and do a single crochet. Move your stitch marker in the next stitch, single crochet, 
and in the next stitch an increase which is two in the same stitch one and two and we're going to do this all the way around okay so single crochet single crochet and an increase I will catch you back when we have worked all the way around doing this catch you in a second so I have finished my round of increase all the way around and what we're going to do now is the next round I've already done the first stitch we're going to be doing four single crochets followed by an increase I will meet you back after we have done that um, as I said four single crochets and an increase so this is number one and around we go I'll catch you back in a little bit so I've completed the round I'm now going to go through that first stitch and I'm going to tie off with a black band and we have to hide this inside our work okay so I'm going to go underneath all right and I'm going to poke my hook through some of these bands and gently so I don't distort things hide the tail end of this band in some of these loops here just make sure you have it hidden there we go like so all right now yes it's a bit ruffled but at the end of the day a hat's not going to be perfectly um you know the brim is not going to be perfectly solid so uh, and it might settle down a little bit who knows all right um, around the head we're going to do a single crochet in each of these brim stitches again starting from the back what I'm talking about as a brim stitch is if you pull this slightly apart you can see where each of these brim stitches are okay the black stitches here we're doing a single crochet in each one all right I am going to start by doing a single crochet and I'm going to pop my stitch marker now the reason I'm saying in the black part of the brim stitch, again if you pull it apart, you can see there's the stitch here, is because the hair has to stay on the inside of the hat. Alright, so around we go and we're just doing it, it's like, it's like we're popping out the post. Alright, and we're doing a single crochet in each of these brim stitches. I will meet you when we get back to the beginning of this round. better meet you right by the beginning because I'm busy losing stitches so I've done my round all the way in each of the rim stitches now what we're going to do if you look you can see that we've got this little stitch here that's pulled across okay we're not going to go into that I don't think are we well we probably could this is our first stitch this is our last stitch We'll go into it because otherwise it's going to be pulled too tight there we are all right I'm gonna go into the first stitch and we're doing an entire round of single crochet all right with black we're then gonna do three rounds of single crochet with white all right so that's four rounds in total this first round is black we're just going through these brim stitches that we made here we just made these stitches we're going to go through these single crochet all the way around no increases no decreases and then three rounds of single crochet again no increases no decreases with white I will catch you back once we have done these four rounds in total all right catch you back in a minute so I'm back I've done my one round of black three rounds of white we have a round of black to do again single crochet all the way around I don't know why I didn't say that before I obviously wasn't reading my pattern very well was I so single crochet in black all the way around and then we start to do our little bit of decreasing just 
Do you all have big plans for Thanksgiving? Do all of you celebrate Thanksgiving? I always find it quite amusing when people ask me, so did you celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia or in, in England? I'm like, no, it's, a, it's an American holiday. We don't celebrate it over there. We have different different uh, celebrations, I guess. We have uh, in England, I remember as a little girl, having Harvest Festival. But uh, it's not not as big as Thanksgiving is over here. So all the way around, doing single crochet. We don't need the white bands anymore. You'll just need black bands. And at the end, we'll need a couple of gold bands to do the uh, buckle on the hat and you'll need some stuffing we actually stuff this hat weather has turned cold we actually had snow it was snowing the other night it didn't stick uh, but the car when we woke up in the morning the car had a light dusting and the roofs had a dusting of it but then as the day progressed it all melted but it's it's that time of the year it's going to be happening soon all right so our next round is single crochet single crochet decrease. Alright, so single crochet, move your stitch marker, single crochet, and then the decrease is where you go through the back loop of the next two stitches, pull a band through and combine them together. Alright, so let's do that again. Single crochet, single crochet and a decrease single crochet single crochet and decrease single crochet and decrease oops single crochet single crochet decrease single crochet single crochet decrease and single crochet and single crochet now you might not finish on a single crochet and single crochet depending on how many stitches you had around your head how many you made might depend on how many you have here so if you can do three single you know single crochet single crochet decrease that's fine do that okay now our next one is uh two rounds of single crochet all right in black and I'll meet you back when we've completed that so for the next round we're going to do three single crochets followed by a decrease so this is our first stitch move your stitch marker to it second stitch third stitch 
and a decrease. You can do that all the way around. One, two, whoopsie, three, and a decrease. One, oops, two, three, and a decrease. And you finish, well for me, on a decrease. If you don't, finish on a single crochet or whatever you happen to finish on. But there we go. Depending how many stitches you have around. Our next round is a round of single crochet only. I'll catch you back when we've done that. So I've finished that round. I am now going to do a front post. So going through from the inside to the outside and poking my hook back. We are doing a front post. Now the first one is a slip stitch. Whoops, let's not lose that stitch. There we go. Put your stitch marker on. And you're going to do this all the way around. Oops. I'm going to have to count how many times I say oops in a video, aren't I? There we go. All the way around we go. And we do stuff the hat. But before we stuff it, I want to put the little gold emblem on the front because otherwise it uh, pulls the stuffing out and gets me irritated. <laughs> Let's do the front loop. Front post, not loop. Ah, nearly missed a stitch then, that would have been bad. Push through. I think this is our last one. Let's check, do we have one more? Nope, that's our last one. I'm going to go in just in this top loop, okay? And I'm just going to, actually I'm not going in. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to add my last stitch to that, all right? Now, before we do the stuffing, I do want to just do the little emblem at the front, okay? How I did it was I had two bands, okay? And with the third band I went over and across like so all right and then I did the same on the other side much like we do for the shoes let's make sure we have this looking right there we go all right and I just placed it here where we have the um, the white you can do it the other side as well it really doesn't matter but just make sure you don't have it twisted all right so I'm going to go through and I want to make sure that I'm in at about the right spot so that when I pull it through 
it will be tight enough I think that's too gonna pull that's gonna distort it there we go that might be right I'm gonna pull it through to the front like so I'm gonna pull a band through oh, no don't unravel <laughs> we're gonna try that again actually that was a bit silly I don't know why I was doing it with I don't know why I was tying it with one of those slippery bands that's a bit silly let's try that again turn around little dude here we go these bands are very slippery so I want it to be about equal on the front turning around I'm just tying these two together like so and then turning twisting my work poking this inside well I can actually I don't have to poke it inside I can actually use my fingers and grab that band and pull it to the inside like so and there we have if I can even that up so it's so it's even yeah even it up so it's even that works doesn't it <laughs> here we go all right so that is even I am now going to stuff the inside I'm going to get rid of these gold bands don't need those let's get our stuffing I have a little cat sitting here helping me she's not very helpful I have to admit so our new stuffing that is not so fibrous and is very firm <laughs> I think it's pillow stuffing it does the job but it just feels a little odd it's not as pliable maybe I need to fluff it up a bit I don't know probably do There's a little cat in the background I can hear doing some busy filing of my husband's papers. I'm squeezing it into shape for this filler. It seems to have a bit of a mind of its own. So I'm just sort of shaping it with my hands. Let's get that out of the way. Now, just like we did before, right, we're going to put the end hook on our, the end hook, the end loop on our hook. We're going to collect up the top loop, okay, of as many of these bands as we can. So collect all of them up. And the only reason I say as many as you can to start with is so that we go through the majority of them. All right, grabbing your black band, pull it all the way through, and you're going to put your stitch marker on the end that you just took off your hook. Now what we're going to do is collect the remainder of these top loops up and sew our little band through and then we're going to, once we have that done, close up and we will be finished. Let's make sure we have these. There's about two more to go. Oh, three more to go. One. Oops. There we go. Grab that one there. Pull it through. There's the... Oh, do we have another one? I see another one. Quickly, we don't want to lose that one. grab that and grab the end and we're going to tie off and as you can see it kind of looks like a little magic ring remove your stitch marker and we're going to just spread that out a bit and tuck this 
end cap or end end cap tie off band back inside all right push that down and there we have our little thanksgiving pilgrim dude there he is in all his glory he's a bit he's a bit he heavy on the head but uh, that's him that's how we did him and I look forward to seeing all of yours. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, then you'll find out when I have more work to do. Um, again, you can shape him up a bit. You can um, change the shape of his face by how much stuffing you put in. Um, likewise, with the shape of his hat, just push it into shape a little bit. But there we go. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.